me changing my previewing options. So adding a swatch and white, but maybe transparent and like the pipes, but maybe black. Okay. And previewing this off. This skin can be turned off. We don't need these guys as well. And we can have the slabs, but let's take the slabs off too. Oh, by the way, I need to connect both for these surfaces. Or one better thing to do is just connect these two here and then connect this here. And last but not least, doing this off. Uh, copy this and paste and adding this here, doing this off, not white, maybe sort of a bluish color here. Okay. That is all fine. And like even if you if you want to, you can make it all go like this. So let's run the ladybug analysis and let's use this guy here. Copy this and paste. So what one thing, if we are talking about Athens, let's make a decision here. I mean, you can run the analysis for the whole year, but I think it's better to run this analysis to maximum or minimize the heating load in summer, right? So let's grab the first month is going to be six. The day is the first. Maybe I can take this off because it will calculate when I connect something, starting R is zero. And then we'll run this through to end of August, 31st of August on 21st, at the hour 30, 23. And this is going to be our goal. And the next thing that I'll be doing is I'll be uh, grabbing the radiation component from Ladybug, this is going to be my sky matrix. And now, there are a couple of things that I should be careful with. So, geometry is the B wrap or the surfaces that I'll be using, right? So, I can connect this surface or boundary surface here, but I can say, var display, even right? And preview this and I can connect this as my geometry for my context what I can select is all these like purple buildings all these purple buildings okay and I can put the context in let's make it like for each meter so grid size is going to be one meter offset distance is 0 0.1 let's say gradients can stay the same Legend parameters can stay the same that'll be false toggle we don't want to run anything yet and why don't we grab this setup as well You know, because, I mean, it's, it's easy to follow this, right? So, let's put the results. Let's put the mesh to mesh. And so, radiation analysis, blah, blah, blah. But it's going to be fed by this OIS. So, it's going to be this dates, not OIS, sorry. Yeah. All right. So let's check what we are going to see when we run this. And maybe we can then preview this all, or we can have this, have this, have them all here with the separated groups. Fortunately, and we can preview them all. And I can preview you off. I want to see things with my own setup here and let's run the analysis 
So when we run this analysis, what it's going to do first is basically it's going to calculate or it's going to have the it's going to have the plates as my analysis type, right? And you see a hundred and um, a hundred and eight or 1800 is too much for this because we probably don't receive that amount of sun but that's for now that's for that's okay we finished the first thing because how i know this if i prove this off and if i prove this on you see it's ranging between 0 to 651 right and you see it's changing and we are receiving sun here as well so one thing we can change here to have this as 700 maybe and preview this on and now we see that our plates is receiving this amount of sun but you see again it's basically really 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 kind of a dense area so if i increase the number of floors like let's say 18 floors if i have probably i'll receive more sun and i'll, I'll see more red right but the aim is not to increase that by chance, right? The aim, you see, the aim is to basically take this as 15 and then optimize it with the angles that we are having so that it's going to show us some results, right? So if I group this all, this time group this with red, it will indicate that I'm working with my solar radiation group. Color this, and the color is going to be red, and you guys as well. And if I grab the Galapagos now, what I need to do for the Galapagos is to change the fitness, right? The fitness value is the results these results but you see we have way more results here we want to diminish the total value so the total value is going to be the one that i wanted to change and my genome is going to be my rotation angle so if i now if i make everything wireframe okay, or ghosted you see everything ghosted if I preview on my structure, which is okay, if I preview on my structure, or if I preview on my like glazing here, which is okay, and maybe I can make it a bit more transparent, this is fine too. And if I start making a, if I start running this optimization, let's see what we are going to have. Again, what we are trying to do is to minimize this, right? solvers and see all the results but before we do that in order to make things faster i would like to run this analysis with a value of like let's say five because you see each one takes six seconds and if i want to have like let's say 2.5 maybe and connect this here just to give you uh give you a bit more like you see it's now only 1.9 if i have i don't know like uh, 3.0 see it's almost like a second so if i run this now oh by the way if you want to change the colors you can always come over here and say 500 you would see more colors here to provide more information i mean depends on the threshold value that you're looking for but yeah I just wanted to show you the I just wanted to show you the uh, the optimization so minimize this solvers preview all the results and if I start solver you see that it's changing the angles And it will bring some results. Let's wait until we see some results here.
And in the meantime, I can rotate in this view, but yeah, it's at a heavy model, so it's not that super fast. So let me pause for a second here as it goes. So we started to receive some results. And you can see that, I mean, it depends on the time, of course, like when we go down, we see it's going from nine to eight or something. And this is a good place to pause this solver. And when you stop the solver, it's going to pause. We can reinstate this value and then it will rerun the analysis for that uh, angle. And the angle is seven point minus seven point six for now. Okay, so this is the very first analysis that we are going to run on this particular exercise. And I can say I can make this and then create a layer over option one and bake everything inside of this. Our option one and preview that off. 